Uh, this is the hours of service app of the Trucker Strip Planning app, which helps you to see if you have the required hours of service uh, for a load and if you can deliver that load on time. The calculations are based upon the load requirements that you entered into the dispatch page. So uh, we'll go back and take a look at the dispatch page. And this is just an example dispatch um, so that you can uh, see that we've already entered a dispatch. And in this particular case, um, we're going to need a total of um, one half hour fuel stop. We'll need um, 0.5 hours uh, to load and also to unload. Um, we'll be picking up at a distance of 120 uh, miles and we'll be uh, picking it up on uh, March the 7th at, at 9 o'clock in the morning and we'll be delivering this load at a distance of 700 miles and our delivery appointment is going to be on March the 9th at 11 o'clock so in reality we'll travel a total of 800 uh, 20 miles uh, we'll be traveling east and we will cross uh, one time zone so we go ahead back to our time requirements page and yes we did update whether we'll be traveling east and whether or not we'll be crossing any time zone so we click yes and go back to the time requirements page now if this load is acceptable uh, the app uh, can also be used to manage your time based upon your start time, your pickup time, your estimated time of arrival at your destination, and you'll be able to give your dispatchers uh, the time in which you should be available for a new load. Now, in this particular case, um, you have 48.1 uh, hours available to run the load, uh, which uh, does not include the time that... Um, that you'll get back um, after 1200 hours. So um, we won't take that in consideration uh, in this example, but that is additional time that you would that you should go back to your hours of service um, recap and take a look at. But in this particular case, we're gonna go ahead and um, assume that we're gonna have 48.1 hours of service available for this load. And based upon the distance that we're going to uh, have to travel, we're going to need a total of 16.4 uh, drive hours. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, we also need to calculate our working time. So in, in this particular example, uh, we need um, uh, two pre-trips uh, for a total of one hour. We'll need um, uh, one fuel stop uh, half hour. And then we'll need um, one hour for our load and unloads. We'll need uh, one hour for our post trips. And for uh, the total hours of service uh, to run this load, uh, based on that, is going to be 19.9 hours. Now, uh, before we can um, tell our dispatcher at what point we'll be ready for a new load, we need to make sure that we take in consideration uh, the additional time that we will need to take our rest breaks. So um, in this particular case, we're going to need one half hour break and we're going to need one 10 hour break. So in reality, to actually run this load, uh, we need 31.4 uh, hours. Uh, taking that in consideration uh, and based on this particular information, uh, we can go ahead and take a look at our uh, ETAs and our uh, next available time. So we already um, indicated that we need to pick this load up on uh, March the 7th at 9 o'clock in the morning. And based upon the distance that we have to travel, based upon the uh, work requirements, then we need to uh, get started by at least 536 in the morning in order to make our pickup at uh, 0900. And with that, uh, we can arrive at our destination at uh, 12 o'clock on the um, the 8th of March. Now, if you remember, uh, we go back to our dispatch and we can see that the delivery time that we had was uh, March the 9th at 11 o'clock. 
So basically, uh, based on the hours of service to, uh, required to run this load, and based upon the hours of service that we have available to run the load, then we can actually uh, run this load. And as you can see, based on our estimated time of arrival, that we can truly uh, deliver this load on time. And we can actually run this load without stress. So the next thing we want to look at is we want to look at our uh, next available uh, date and time, you know, which is going to be on the 8th at 1300 hours. So that's the time that we want to report to our dispatcher to let them know that we'll be available for another load. Now, uh, the information you, you receive here is also fed to the trip planner so that you can use it to plan your work and rest. Uh, we won't uh, discuss this here in this particular video, but we'll go ahead and take a look at it just so you can see that the information is uh, actually fed to that particular sheet. So we go back to our trucker's trip planner, and as you can see, The information from our time requirements is actually fed to this particular sheet so that we can use it to plan our uh, work and rest for the load. But again, we'll discuss that in another video. And we'll go back to uh, trip planning sheet. Now, uh, remember the, the objective here in this particular um, uh, app is to determine uh, if you had an hour of service to run the load, which you should be able to do this within the time that it takes to record your dispatch to the trucker's trip planning worksheet. So it shouldn't take you uh, but a few minutes to uh, actually be able to see that you can actually run this load and get right back to your dispatcher, and then you can drive without the stress of not knowing. And basically, this concludes our video. And we hope that you will use this tool to help you recognize uh, acceptable and un unacceptable loads. So take care and be safe out there delivering loads that you can deliver on time. And we'll see you soon in the next video.